Hi, I'm Aparna Ganesh and I welcome you to our series Yoga and You where you have been sending the questions and our dear Hansa Ji, the director of the Yoga Institute has been answering them. Hansa Ji, lots of common issues related to fear, how oh. to overcome fear, how to stay more positive, how to not get bullied by fear. <laughs> well, fear is a very natural phenomenon. Is it? Yeah. Uh, fear can be overcome. But fear is a very natural phenomenon because we are born with this uncertainties in life. Do you know that in life uncertainty is there, next moment what is going to happen we don't even know. Right. So that fear of unknown is very much there with all of us. And that's why we always say that unknown is there. But also the children are not, they are leading a happy life. But they have, tell me, give me a list of varieties of fear they have. Well, kids normally have fear of some reptiles, some cockroaches or darkness probably. Yeah, yeah. Or if somebody is uh, been telling them about police, aega, police, aega, then they are yeah. afraid of police. We instill fear in them. Right. So that we are more comfortable because with fear person will sit quietly. Right. Otherwise can create problem. Actually, all such fears are there. These fears we have to overcome one by one. We'll come to that point. The point I'm trying to make is we grown ups. We always have this fear of uncertainty. Now this fear could be taken with faith that whatever will happen will happen for my own good, which always is recommended Ishwar Pranidhan. He God knows more than what I know about myself and whatever will happen will happen for good. Do our best and then leave Do, it. No, if suppose cockroach is also there around, what can he harm? It will again do good only. With cockroach I see the variety. I enjoy the variety, I close my eyes, cockroach can go away also or I can learn and how so to you, handle. It's not easy to think like this about snakes, no? <laughs> if there is a snake in the room, I am going to panic and run, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. But there, are, there is a fear, if snake, all these reptiles, they don't come to harm you. Sure, Never. Our theory wise we know, but if we theory. see then the first reaction is that, oh. Go away <laughs> from that place, leave them alone and they will handle themselves. We should know how to manage them. But fear is going to come. No, that's what I am telling. It's a natural tendency and it will come. But with uncertainty, what can you, how would you manage? It is uncertain, you know. Next moment, what is going to happen, we have no idea. So fear, kya hoga, kya hoga. Aisa hua to, vaisa hua to. We start thinking like that. Unnecessary thoughts about fear. And we are supposed to stop it. But we develop that fear. We have to train our mind. But can you take it like that? That kya hoga ye to malum nahi. We don't even know. So either think good or take life as an adventure. Yeah. You know, life is an it's adventure. <laughs> Every day is an adventure. You don't even know what's going to happen next. So when you take life as an adventure, you are enthusiastic. You are full of energy. You can face the world. But you, you know, when you go for an adventurous trip, how do you behave? That's how the life should be led. You should be enthusiastic, positive. Take it as an adventure. Take it that whatever will happen, I have the strength, I can face it and God is there to help me. So these are the ways in which we have to handle fear. And mainly yoga says that understand that since we are born with ignorance, avidya, because of ignorance, we have ego. Because of ego, we have attachment. I like this and I don't like, I fear that, oh, if I eat this, I don't know what will happen to me. I'm not sure. Dislike, I hate something. And the main thing, what we talk about fear is abhinivesha. This word abhinivesha is used. Fear of death. Fear of death that every human has. Kya hoga? Kya hoga? Mar jayenge to. This sort of a more, fear. The, the fear is more of losing your loved ones, right? Of fear of, of losing your, your loved also. one or yourself also. Fear of death. Or because of that we become selfish. Swarth aajata hai. Because of this fear person is swarthi. Apno ko sambhalo. Dusre marenge to chalega. So person goes into a very, very vicious uh, circuit because of these glaciers. So yoga continuously talks about removing these glaciers. Reduce first and then remove. And that is done with understanding. 
we have to train our mind. We have to train otherwise fear is going to remain. Rather they say that the most wisest person in the world also has a binivesh, fear. Fear of no, people may not accept me. Future, fear that I may be criticized, fear that I may be thrown out from my job, fear of any, you name any and it's fear because of uncertainty. The wisest person also has this fear. So, fear is common. So, practically Natural. how does one really deal with that? You say for example, if somebody has the fear of not being accepted yes. in a particular environment, for example, at a workplace probably. Yeah. How does that person really work on that? You see, th that's what I, I'm trying to tell you that you have to slowly train your mind. Mm -hmm. If at all you are thinking, either think good or don't think. Okay. Yoga always says that stop thinking. Why develop fear? Fear is an emotion, a strong emotion. Will power goes, your, your whole energy goes, all your inner strength goes with fear. Anxiety grips in hmm. and you, you feel helpless and hopeless. Anxiety is a huge thing associated with fear for sure. With low energy, with weak body, trembling body, no clarity, person is functioning in life because of fear. So now we have to work on our fear. So first discipline is either if at all you are using your mind, use it positively. Very strong message of Bhagavad Gita. बिल्कुल नंगे कुछ था ही नहीं हमारे पास और हम पैदा हुए हैं अभी तो कितना सारा है हमारे पास तो क्या बड़ा भारी टेंशन करने की जरूरत है सब अच्छा ही होगा and God is there who is there who has brought me here he will take care of me so this type of a thinking is very important in life जो कहा जाता है हमारे शास्त्रों में लेकिन यो कहता है कि इस फियर को समझकर you have to understand and remove it out one by one all the fear systematically there's a darkness ka fear hai mm. learn to close your eyes and walk in the room mm. okay blindfold karo or walk in the room fir darkness ka dheere dheere fear jayega ek cockroach ka fear tha wo cockroach cockroach to chalo ek jhadu lo mm. aur thoda usko hata kar bari ke <laughs> bahar dalne ka prayatna karo otherwise just just make it faint faint and Throw it out. I'm having Throw visuals it. of people standing on their <laughs> table <laughs> and trying to do that. <laughs> the way people are scared. I tell you, I, it's such a joke. I tell you, I know a family where the lady was very much afraid of cockroach and the man was afraid of lizards. Yeah. <laughs> and they were living in the atmosphere where lots of trees and you know, uh, police natural. were there around. So cockroach and lizards are bound to come in the room. Mm. And both are shouting, howling <laughs> and calling watchmen, please yeah. remove. It is so funny. Yeah. Now we have to overcome. <laughs> we should one by one pick up our fear and make the list shorter and shorter. But finally the answer is this. Develop faith. The answer of fear is faith. Yeah. When a person starts thinking, na, parna, thinking goes in any direction. Yeah. And so and the imagination somebody, goes wild. Yes. yes. No direction only. Mm. So here is a person who is in the sea in boat and he is imagining that he is sailing very nicely and suddenly waves come and then suddenly my god we may topple down, may go in water and here are big sharks yeah. opening their mouth and keeping shouting stop thinking and you will be out of fear. You are thinking so fear, no thinking no fear. So but Hansaji, it's not that simple for people to stop thinking or stop overthinking, so it's, it's another level. <laughs> but uh, That's why yoga has a techniques to offer. Yeah. Yoga tells you, come on, because of fear your stomach goes tight. Okay. So first try and relax your stomach. All right. So here we have pranayam, mm -hmm. breathing technique. See, yoga says that breath and mind, they go together. Right. If mind is disturbed, breath is disturbed. So breath doesn't, you don't breathe long then. You breathe very short and shallow and jerky. Mm. So first make your breath smooth. 
first make your breath little long so do that instead mm. of thinking uh, divert this. your attention to your breath to breaths and you will notice your mind will have more you will have more control over mind and then you concentrate and those thoughts also will go in the background yes they will go away then you concentrate on your stomach mm. your navel nabhi mm. yoga says nabhi chakre kaya vyuha gyanam mm. yoga talks about nabhi chakra lots of energy is there lots of potential is there you can create so much through this nabhi mm. so yogis say that focus on that so you are breathing in stomach it moves little up breathe out stomach goes down so all the muscles which have become tight because of fear they start relaxing and so you keep a relaxed abdomen yeah. and automatically diaphragm starts moving better mm -hmm. and you start breathing deeper and, and this, this is how you calm. that is how right. so once you are in control of your energy mm. you feel stronger mm. you feel capable you feel you can handle the situation right. and then you can overcome your fear one by one and this is how you have to take help of yoga technology mm. and wisdom around and start functioning better so that's let's work hard with fear but fear has to be removed that's clear Shaan sir ji. <laughs> so two big points she said was one is to have faith in what's happening around us and second practical thing that you can uh, do is working on your breath. Not only does it really take your attention away from the fear and anxiety in hand, it actually physically is very, very calming. So I hope you actually practice that and please do write back to us if this worked for you. Thank you. Hansa ji has been giving us her precious time so that all of us can benefit from her words. I hope all of us can spread her words out to a larger group by sharing this video with our friends and do like this video and if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you will not miss a future video. Thank you.